Good afternoon, everybody. This is Sangeeta Saxena, editor, Aviation and Defense Universe, getting you live from Singapore Air Show. This is day one at the show. And I have with me the most wanted, in the right sense, the team Sarang, which is here. It is the pride of India. We just saw it in the skies about half an hour back. And it was just wonderful. I'm sure these guys don't know what it was like below with everybody clapping and people like us, you know, just clicking and clicking away to Chuck Day India. And I think, you know, it's my ultimate pleasure to welcome you guys to ADU's chat room. Welcome all of you. This is uh, going to be Team Sarang with Sangeeta Saxena. Looking forward to understanding from all of you, how has it been here? Sarang is not outside India for the first time. It's always there at all shows. How were the Singapore skies? How did it feel like flying? We started off, uh, the first ever international display of sarangs uh, was there in Singapore. So we are returning here after 20 years. So it feels good. Wonderful. Uh, were you there in the first one? Uh, no, no, I was not there in the first one. All right, that's but a stupid exactly. question. Right. <laughs> and uh, what are the roles uh, you have in the team? Since I presume you're both pilots. Uh, so what are you doing actually with the team at Singapore? Okay, we are uh, predominantly a display team. Yeah. So our main, uh, what we do is uh, helicopter aerobatic display uh, in foreign air shows. But in India, we have other varied roles, uh, which will include uh, uh, disaster relief, communication sorties, and normal all uh, operational helicopters for what they do. We also. Yes, absolutely. Because people have this idea that Sarang is only for displays, well, which is a misnomer. So that is actually very nice for the audience to know that you do much more than that. And uh, when you're flying here, does it feel very similar to flying in the skies in India? Or uh, is it a little different with the, you know, you have a different geography in Singapore. When you're flying in India, it's a different geography. So how different it is when you're flying? Well, it is uh, a bit different because we are flying uh, half over sea, half over land. The majority we fly over land there. Right. But uh, notwithstanding, we did have some la latest displays in which we have done it over the sea also. You've done over the sea, right? What about you? Oh, what is your feedback of Singapore skies and the land below when you're flying? Singapore is amazing. We are uh, definitely liking it here. And uh, since we've uh, flown over varied topography in India, uh, the conditions are not much different. It is hot and it is humid, but uh, we are liking it here. Recently, we've uh, performed our uh, marine drive in Mumbai, and uh, also we've been in uh, Kollam, similar in similar in uh, Kerala, where we had uh, flown over water body. So it's a similar environment here. And uh, the crowd is amazing and we are definitely liking it. You're definitely liking it. And the team is wonderful, you know, because what has happened here is that you have a team where we have a woman pilot. And along with her, the voice which actually, you know, made everybody crazy on the ground, you are not there to hear it, but we really had, you know, people shouting and yelling. So there is a woman pilot, there is a person who's also going to tell us what she does, apart from uh, announcing. And it's wonderful to have you women here. Women empowerment is one of the best things which is happening in India. And so good to see a pilot in front of us. How does it feel? You feel as good as the men? It does. Part of Sarang team, we are the Sarang team members, irrespective of whether we are male or the women pilot. It itself is immense pride to be a part of Sarang team and showcasing the ability of the team of Indian Air Force and of the Indian Aviation Industry in foreign it itself gives us immense pride. Absolutely. And uh, when you fly, how does it how does it feel when you're flying and you have so much audience below? You know that there's an audience below. How what is that feeling like? It, it, I really can't put that feeling in words. It really gives us adrenal rush when we are flying because that's the cheer that we want from the people because we know that they are the ones who are cheering for us. So we put up our best show wherever we go in each and every venue. And Singapore is an amazing host and we are looking forward for an amazing time. That's really wonderful. And you're going to fly the next four days? Uh, I'll be flying in the next last two days. The public yeah. days I'll be there. Oh, that is wonderful. And this is the voice, friends. We see here Pallavi. So when just before everything began, we just heard that Jai Hind and Jai. You know, it was wonderful. So Pallavi, tell us how does it feel? Gives you a lot of importance, doesn't it? That I'm telling the world what the country is going to do just now. Yeah, definitely commentary plays a very uh, vital role uh, in the display as it connects what is happening in the sky and what they understand. So I connect the mind, the emotions of people with the aircraft that fly and that uh, do the maneuvers. 
so that is really important to appreciate and to have a better appeal of uh, our job and when you're doing it do you have a separate viewpoint because uh, we from below don't see anything till the uh, chopper is actually in front of us uh, sometimes uh, i have a better view than you guys but sometimes <laughs> i am amongst uh, one amongst you all so but it's all about practice that i do it's all about synchronization that i ensure and uh, it's it goes hand in hand that's it that's wonderful actually saran has made us proud all throughout you know so wherever we go for years we've been seeing saran you know flying in the skies of air shows and uh, you know it's really wonderful and uh, spallavi and shipra and krish and akash huh? you need to be introduced also guys it's not that you know uh, i am not going to disturb you at all but uh, the truth is that the audience would want to know so friends you know this is a team which is indian air force you might not find them in the air force colors but these are the colors of saran and uh, we have always seen them getting the country proud making the country feel happy about the fact that we are at par with the rest in the world and uh, i i will vouch for it always that whenever you have a hatsaran team it's always the best flying display so thank you so much for speaking to us and we'll keep speaking and we'll keep catching you guys at all shows everywhere thank you very much and i'm not going to sign off here i have somebody who will come and join the team he is the guy who is the man of the hour so he is our air force pro and uh, friends one man who's always made life very easy for us in the indian air force and uh, you know it's been now more than 3 decades doing this and he's the smartest guy in town always make sure that we get the right interviews we get the right pictures thank you ashish for being there how does it feel to have got these guys here it's nostalgic i have been a part of uh, saran uh, not too long ago so i know uh, uh, kind of a nostalgic trip for me and of course uh, i know how much uh, hard work they put in uh, to put up a good show so it only goes to show uh, you know their dedication and their skills uh, as aviators and as professionals of the internet Yes, absolutely, and they are the best. Absolutely, thank you so much. Thank you very much, friends. Jai Hind. Jai Hind.